Hi everyone. Today I'm going over cardio. We are going to see the pros and cons of the various type of cardio and how to incorporate cardio in your routine in order to keep those hard work gains you made in the gym. Before we begin remember that cardio is very important for your heart and you should be doing at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity cardio per week. Just by doing 150 minutes of cardio, you're dramatically reducing the risks of cardiovascular disease. So, let's start right away. If you're trying to build muscle and burn fat a great exercise is cycling. The main advantage of this kind of exercise is that you can do it for a long period of time without getting too much sore and risk overtraining. Also, it's very easy on the joints, so you don't have to worry about possible injuries. Although it's not the best cardio exercise, from the perspective of calories burnt per hour, it allows you to go longer without compromising recovery, like for example running. Also, cycling it's quite cheap. You don't have to buy those fancy carbon fiber bikes, leave them to the pros. Moreover, it's even not necessary to buy a bike if you want to save money. You can do it in your gym. You jump on the bike, put on some music or a Netflix show, and you start pedaling. By doing so, you won't even notice the time passing. An alternative to biking, it's the elliptical. It's a great exercise, and since you also use your arms to perform the movement, you will burn more calories than training on a bike, so it's a great alternative if you don't like cycling. Also, as cycling it's really easy on the joint. So, give it a try. In my opinion, running is the worst form of cardio you can do. But, let me be clear, the reason why I don't suggest you to run it's because while you run you're placing a great eccentric load on the muscle, and it makes hard to recover, and you're to be sore. And everybody knows that when you're sore you can train properly, you won't be able to push as hard, and it's easier to get injured. So, if you want to preserve the muscle you build, I suggest you to avoid running, in any form. Like sprinting, jogging, doing intervals. Also, skipping can place quite a load on your legs, and you'll risk find yourself too sore the next day, and not being able to train at your best. Another great exercise for your cardio is swimming. First of all, it's a great overall body workout, although swimming can also be very fatiguing especially if you're not used to it. But, it can provide you a lot of benefits, because it helps you burn a lot of calories, and like cycling it's not placing a lot of stress on your joints. Also swimming can be performed by everyone, for example you have an injured leg, you can still go to swim, and just use your arms. So, you can use it as a replacement exercise. However, it's still pretty fatiguing as an exercise, so I would still prefer do the elliptical or cycling. But, Always find an exercise that you like doing. That's my number one advice. Martial arts also are very popular. Also they are great for burning calories. Doing boxing is fantastic. But the problem with martial arts and fighting sports is that they can lead to injuries. And when you're injured, you can't train and you will lose muscle. So, if you like those kinds of exercises, please be very careful. Next one is rowing. Rowing it's great. It works all your body, and it makes you burn a lot of calories. But not everyone is able to do it, maybe because of lower back pain or injuries. So, for them it's not an exercise to do. Walking or hiking. Those are great, because they are low-impact forms of cardio, who allow you to burn a lot of calories without getting sore. It may not burn a lot of calories, like other more intense activities, but the main pro is that it won't lead you to overtrain or leave you with muscle soreness. So, it's really a great way to burn some calories without getting too much sore. My suggestion, if you want this type of cardio after your weight session, is to walk on incline treadmill. A 3% incline it's really nice to increase a little bit the intensity and therefore the calories you burn without risk overtraining. Especially if you're in a diet and you feel a lot tired and you don't feel like doing a more intense form of cardio, go for a walk. Also, walking it's the perfect form of cardio to Begin if you're out of shape, overweight or obese, because it's really easy and will help you build some endurance before moving to something more challenging. For people who hate the treadmill go walk outside. You'll find that it's totally a different experience and you will be able to burn calories and not have excuses not do it. However, I find the treadmill really nice. In fact, while on the treadmill you can do a lot of things. Reading a book, watching a movie, listening to an audiobook, watching my videos, studying. So, the possibilities are endless. You just have to think and you'll find solutions. A good exercise 
especially for those who finds hard to do cardio by themselves, is cardio classes, such as Zumba, CrossFit, you get the idea. Those are really nice to get some movement and also be accountable because you go with other people and exercise with other people can motivate you to push harder. So, it's a good solution to burn some calories while having fun and enjoy yourself. Skiing or snowboarding. They are good exercise, but you won't burn a lot of calories. Just think of it, a lot of time is spent on the ski lift while the time you actually spent working out is really short. So, don't think that by skiing you will burn tremendous amount of calories. It's not the case. Also, be very careful of injuries. Instead, cross-country skiing is amazing because you're moving the whole time and you're using all of your body. So you're really burning a lot of calories. Tennis is another great form of cardio. You're moving a lot around the court, sprint forth and back. Also soccer is nice, basketball. All of these sports are really great to build cardio endurance and burn calories. However, be careful not to overestimate the calories burnt because while playing those sports you're not moving all the time. Anyway, great ways to move yourself and get some cardio. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share it with your friends. See you on the next one.